Everybody knows that integrated mic circuits appeared at the beginning of the 1960s, but the device called Lova 3NF dates back from before the Second World War. Actually, it was a microcircuit assembled in one envelope of radio tube. The design consisted of three lamps, four resistors and two capacitors in one envelope. One of the reasons for this device to be developed was not the engineering, but rather the economic and namely the tax issue. The thing is, the taxation for tube receivers in Germany depended on quantity of dumps in the device, and for this reason, in 1926, Lohbe, working on the print radiophone, developed its own device which had two tetrodes and two resistors along with two capacitors. And the most complicated model of Lohbe lamp contained a three-stage amplifier on triodes, where all the components were inside the envelope. From the point of law, the success of Lowe Company was the simplest, with one lamp. The producers had to face one of the design disadvantages, the filament failure in one lamp led to the failure of the whole device. To control this, the company developed changeable filaments for this lamp. Besides the amplifier cascade, the company manufactured the lamp, which had two varium of pentodes plus a triode. And this lamp could be used in generators, mixers and converters not only in receiving equipment, but also in measuring and transmitting equipment. One of the most advanced modes manufactured by Lowe was a photometer. The photo element and amplifier were located in one tube. Thanks to the development of 3NF lamp, which was produced by the company, this successor cost only 39.5 marks and was so popular that 1 million items were manufactured. Later on, the combined lamps became widely spread and were the first step to the integration of radio-electronic devices.